Hi there, I'm Lindsay L, and I'm sitting down with countrymusicrocks.net. So we're here at CRS 2014, sitting down with country newcomer Lindsay L. How are you? How is your CRS going so far? I am doing wonderful. You know, CRS is always such a fun time of year, and you get to see so many radio people that sometimes you miss passing through town so much throughout the year. So it's nice to have everybody in one center at one time. Now, for fans that are just getting to know you, give us a quick little Lindsay L 101. Yeah, I started playing piano when I was six years old and I picked up the guitar when I was eight and it practically became like another limb off my body. You know, I, I started playing bluegrass music with my dad when I was really, really little and then when I was 13 I met a guy by the name of Randy Bachman and so Randy got me listening to a lot of, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Clapton and Jimi Hendrix and, and guitar players that I had never heard of before up until that point but once I discovered that it just opened up my mind to a whole new world of guitar playing. So now living in Nashville for the past few years, it's brought me back to my country roots and who I am, but I pull from those nuances live and, and in the studio sometimes. Now you just released your debut single, Trippin' on Us, to country radio. Give us a little background and tell us about that song. So I wrote Trippin' on Us with good friends of mine, David Fanning and Vicki McGeehee. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to write a song that was positive and about young love and I mean music is supposed to bring us up anyways right and so we just wanted to capture that feeling and you know David and I were jamming on that intro guitar riff for a few hours and three hours later it just sort of came out on the page and I think it it's a special song because as a as a new act sometimes it's really challenging to sort of pick the first single you know and and find that first impression that you're going to leave on fans and audiences and and so I think it's it's a good representation of, of showing that I'm a guitar player and and I'm a singer and have country little rock little blues it's just sort of a, a good mismatch of everything. Now I know you've been working on your debut album tell us a little bit about that and where are you at in that process? So we've cut half the album so far and we're going back in the studio end of April to finish recording the rest of it and you know it's just been such an incredible experience I feel like I've been playing live music for the past 10, 12 years, but to finally get the opportunity to release something to country radio and then make my official first debut record, it's so exciting. You know, I finally feel like I know what I want to say as an artist and how I want to say it, and, and coming to that point is sometimes a big discovery process, you know, and figuring out which way you want to package it and how you want to make it look. And, and so uh, I'm just so excited to, to show everybody some of the new music we've been working on, and I can't wait to finish the record. What's been, so far, one of your favorite moments recording the album? You know, the first few times um, we were in the studio cutting, like, the first four batches of songs, I was just so thankful that my producer's new voice let me play all the guitars on the record. And um, I'm so used to, you know, hearing the, Lindsay, we know you're a great guitar player, but today we have so-and-so in the studio and don't get me wrong I mean I will easily listen to guitar players who can play circles around me for hours but it's been so nice that they've just been humble to letting me be who I am you know and even if it takes two hours longer for me to figure out what I want to do in a guitar solo they are so receptive to just letting me be me and surrounding me with music and you know if I'm not playing guitar on my record then what's the point of making a record you know <laughs> that's awesome that's huge yeah it's it's been amazing now, you've been out on the road with the band Perry on the We Are Pioneers tour. Tell us a little bit about that, and what's that experience been like? The Perrys are incredible people. You know, they just have hearts of gold through and through, and they have such a hard work ethic. You know, I've never really met people who are more dedicated to what they do, and so I've always had an incredible respect for them, but being out on the road with them, I just have that times 10. You know, we kicked off the We Are Pioneers tour in Europe and played... 20 shows in nine different countries in under 30 days and it was just a whirlwind and I became the epitome of a tourist taking pictures everywhere we went and um, you know to be able to do it with them it was so amazing and then we brought Easton Corbin out with us um, to start Canada in January and then are finally down in the States and we've just been having such an amazing time. That's great. Now as a country newcomer what's it been like for you having the fans as well as the industry embrace you and your new music? It's such an amazing feeling, you know, even even in Europe, seeing the country music fans and after show on Twitter, you know, have that instant one-on-one -on -one response and connection and 
you know, this past weekend we were playing um, a couple shows in the northern parts of the states and and seeing like this long lineup of little girls like holding my picture, being like, will you sign my picture and can I have a guitar pick and you've inspired me to start playing guitar and it just, it warms my heart more than I can even say, you know, because I, I know how much artists were a role model to me growing up and so I hope that I can return the favor to people growing up too. With 2014 already underway, what are some of your goals and plans for this year? Well, we're touring with the Perrys till about middle of March, and then we'll be hopping back in the studio um, to finish the record. This summer we'll be doing lots of radio shows and festivals, and then looking towards a, uh, a album release and touring again in the fall. So it's going to be a busy year, but I'm just I'm so excited to finally be able to release some of this new music. Fantastic. Now, country music is consistently evolving and growing. What's one one of the things that you just love about country music? The thing I love most about country music is it lets people be people. You know, it lets people be real. And and after you know studying so many different forms of of music and spending time with musicians from different facets, I just find country music is the genre that embraces you as a human being. You know, you don't need to put on any facade, you don't need to pretend you are someone you're not. You can just be you and say what you want to say in a song, you know, like really tell the story how it is. And my first couple rights in town, I remember, you know, having such a hard time like trying to figure out how to say something. And then eventually somebody was just like, well, Lindsay, what do you want to say? And I'm like, well, I want to say this. And they're like, that's perfect. Write that down. And so I just find that, um, you know, it's just, it's so natural and you can just really let your heart shine through, which is incredible. Now we're here at CRS and it's a week all about country radio. What's one song that you just always have to crank up when it comes on the radio? That is a good question. Does it need to be old or new? You know, I heard Springsteen the other day, Eric Church, and that's always one that I'm just like, man, what a good song. So. I'll say that one. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to catch up. We're definitely looking forward to all your new music, and we'll be uh, keeping our eyes on and ears tuned into you this year. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for making time for me, and here's to a good CRS. Absolutely. <laughs>